Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, I'm gonna uh, had some uh, sensor problems. And uh, one of the, if you see my last episode, I had the uh, crankshaft position sensor go out on me, which was uh, right, right there. It was that thing right there, it's all greasy. Anyways, the crankshaft uh, went out and now uh, the camshaft sensor uh, this one here in particular has gone out. Um, I've already replaced this because this was easy, but I have a feeling that the other um, camshaft sensor, which is, oh geez, it's really hard. You see it right there, that green little piece? That's the other camshaft uh, position sensor. And so um, I decided to go ahead and replace both of them because uh, basically the crankshaft, the left front camshaft, um, has gone out so I have a feeling this other camshaft position sensor here um, is probably gonna go out so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that uh, really hard to get to so I've just went ahead and removed the filter uh, lift this up and then with my good old uh, 300 and some odd mechanics toolkit um, 10 millimeter with an extension and the uh, 3 8 socket I think socket wrench so uh, coming in handy still paying for itself so I'm gonna go ahead and try to replace that and uh, that should be really easy uh, couldn't do it the first time because the engine was too hot so I just replaced the uh, this front portion right here and uh, that was easy uh, this is gonna be the harder part and then after that I'm going on a very very long road trip well, I'm gonna probably do an oil change change the filter oil filter and do uh, also another transmission fluid change here um, anyways I'm not going to record all that I'm just going to record this cam sensor right there that, I don't know if you can, you can probably see it that little green there it is that green thing right there and that's on the back side so I'm going to try to get to it and uh, cut back in bye all right everyone welcome back um, took a little little effort to, uh, to finally pull this out how to use the uh, very long screwdriver here again and part of the uh, 300 and some odd mechanics toolkit anyways this is the old one and this is the new one so hopefully I could fit this right back in and uh, it's not going to be a problem so one of the issues I had from last time is uh, snapping the electrical in here but we'll see how it works so anyways, uh, here's a new one, and uh, I'm just going to slide it back in there. Now I have to kind of, I'm not trying to take out everything, I just want to leave as much as I can, so I'm going to kind of reach in here, pull it through, or push it through, and then try to get it right in that hole right here, if you can see my, my finger, somewhere right around here. So, uh, or you could just go ahead and take everything out, but uh, I'd rather not. Anyways, uh, let me cut out and let me cut back in. Alright everyone, welcome back and uh, here is the Nissan Mini Quest here all put the back together. For the most part, all I did was remove this and uh, of course uh, unplug this here. Removing this, um, I need to change the air filter anyway so the air filter has been replaced. Um, I did unplug this here and then that just gives me room to work with and uh, you just got to finesse it um, using an extension here with the uh, 10 socket. You just got to really, really get in there if you can see that. You can't see it now because it's, there it is. Kind of. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, it's, it's right there. You could barely see that green right there. But uh, anyways, uh, it's in now. It was very easy. Now that the engine's cold, I could kind of really get into it and replace it. So replacing the uh, the camshaft sensors, it's pretty easy. This one's by far the easiest right here. This is a camshaft sensor right here. See right here. And when I clicked it in, it wouldn't click in. That's why you don't see the screen. But it's usually on a some kind of green tab here, just like it is over over there. If you see the green tab, if you can uh, kind of see that green tab. Sorry, it's kind of dark. But anyways, it, you got to really finesse it and grab in there. And it's kind of nice to have small hands and uh, small arms 
if you, if you got big hands and big arms, um, you're gonna have to take all this out somehow to get to it. But uh, this was pretty easy for me. So I got that taken care of. I can just go ahead and change the oil and the transmission fluid here. Um, but that that's it for this episode. Um, I didn't. Ha I obviously removed the engine cover, and uh, yeah, it's it's really easy just to replace these sensors. You don't want to uh, pay a mechanic like you know four thousand uh, dollars to do this. Um, well, you don't want to even pay him anything really. Um, but if you can do it yourself, that's great. Again, um, the 300 and some odd mechanics toolkit here has helped me. Uh, these are the tools that I've used. This is the old sensor here. Uh, it works, but I just have a feeling that, you know, over time, it's going to, um, it's just not going to, it's going to go kaput just like all the other uh, sensors have. The, the front sensor, front cam uh, shaft sensor, the crankshaft on the bottom has gone out. Um, and so I'm going on a road trip here. Uh, let me see, where am I going? Going to California, pick up my kids from Grandma, coming back to Houston, from Houston to Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C. to uh, New York, uh, New York City, then eventually uh, to Niagara Falls and into Canada. So anyways, um, that concludes this episode. Uh, it's a really easy episode. Um, what else am I doing? I'm also going to be changing out the oil, but I'm not going to do that because that's a no-brainer. Um, if you see my transmission episode, you'll see how I'm going to change the fluid from the transmission. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that, um, pull the fluid, the hose that, that goes into the cooler, I'm pull that out, and then while the engine's running, the, cool, the, the fluid of the coolant is going to come out and... Um, uh, then I'm going to be putting in, I'm going to be putting in um, transmission oil. So uh, we'll give that a try and see how it works. Um, I did that last time and it, it's it's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do this again because it's almost been a year and wouldn't hurt to replace the fluids because uh, did something similar with that on my uh, Dodge Dakota. Um, if I ever have time, I'll I'll fix that little leak on the bottom on the drain pan I made, but. Um, that's for another episode but all I did was change the fluid and it works so much better it's only stuck in third gear once um, since I've changed out the fluid but but uh, I just turned the car off and start the car on it's back to normal again so uh, changing out the fluids is just an easy easy way to um, well, save yourself a lot of money um, maintaining the fluids is probably all you really need to do other than the sensors uh, going out, the only problems I ever have is, you know, sensors going out, uh, spark plugs, maybe brakes. Uh, the engine itself, I mean, it works. <laughs> or else, or else, you know, everything would go to hell in a couple of years, you know. But anyways, uh, this concludes this episode. Uh, feel free to comment, like, dislike, or even do uh, a video response. Until next time, stay tuned.